It's one way for a school to raise aspirations. Invite a real-life superhero to your engineering class. Students at Leeds City College might have spotted the subtle difference between Richard Browning and Iron Man, but he can't escape the comparison. We didn't build this to try and build an Iron Man suit, but I will completely admit that, that quite early on this started to dawn on us that we did have a certain Marvel superhero uh, yeah, a, a, analogy. His dream of flying began in the fields near his home, using mop buckets and micro-gas turbines. Now he's in talks with the military and has sold one suit for a quarter of a million pounds. Did you think you'd get to today, ever? Yeah, it's always this mixture of you kind of, if you didn't, didn't dream that being possible, then you'd never go down the journey in the first place, but you need to have the humility to imagine it might be harder than you think, and you might never get there either. Aiming high is what today was all about for lecturers. Do you reckon you might start teaching people how to make Iron Man suits in, in college? <laughs> I don't think there's a course for it. I don't know whether it runs in the framework, but it's about students thinking about when they're creating a project, relating to something like this. And it's certainly inspired students. I know where my mind is now, so that's what I'm going to end up going on to do. What, coming back here in a jetpack, do you reckon, in a few years? That would be really cool. And how likely is that vision? Could I be going to my jobs next year in an ITV branded jetpack? So, I, 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 being realistic, I, I don't think it's very likely, and we never built this to, to revolutionise you know, public transport at this stage. But also on show today, the future of public transport. The company working with Richard is hoping to use driverless cars and 5G networks to make congestion a thing of the past. This is a sneak peek inside that driverless car, so while I might not be flying to work anytime soon, at least this might get me there on time. Helen Steele, ITV News in Leeds.